Hey, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to create a viscous fluids like chocolate or honey kind of simulation. So first, let us take a geometry. And inside that, we need to take an object from where we want to emit the particles. So in this case, we will take a sphere. And also, we will create the collision object. Uh, so we will take a torus. And now we'll change the positions of the sphere. So just I will move to the y-axis. And also we'll template this torus. And now if you want to increase the size of this torus, we can select this and just we can use this uniform scale. So next we'll take and flip top source. And we'll connect this sphere. And next we'll take and top network. And we'll connect this sphere to the first input and we'll connect this torus to second input here. And now we'll go inside and now we'll take and flip object. And also we'll take and flip solver. So just connect here and we'll connect it to output. So now we need to import the collision object into here. Uh, so the collision object is we have created this torus. So just go inside. And now we will create a static object node. And now inside the static object, we need to browse the model which we want to create like a collision. So just here, if you select the static object here, you can see soft path. So in this, we need to select this torus and click on accept. And now we'll match this. Uh, so just we need to take a match node. And now we need to connect in between this flip solver and just we need to connect the static object. And in this match node, we need to change the order and just we'll swap this. And now in the effector relationship, we need to set this default option, left inputs affects right inputs. So for timing default, we have this cube. So in this flip object, we need to remove this. So just we have to remove this. So after that, we need to import the object from where we want to emit the particle. So we can take a volume source. So just we need to select this volume source and we need to connect to this flip solver. So like sourcing. So just we need to connect here. And in this, we need to select the input to first context geometry. As if you go back side, now this is the first contact geometry. So the sphere has been connected to the first contact. So inside the DOP network, we need to select the option like first context geometry. And now after this in initialize, we need to select this source flip. So now see, now the particles will be going to emit from this source here. And now we need to change the shape of these particles here. So if you select this flip object and if you go to these guides and here there is an option like particles. So here instead of these sprites, we need to select these particles. And now if you want to increase the number of particles, we need to use this value. And first of all, before that, we need to link this to flip source here because whenever we want to change the particles, we need to link this to this particle separation. So in dope network, uh, here particle separation, we need to right click and copy parameter and just we need to go to this flip source and here we need to paste here. So just we need to right click and paste relative reference. So whenever we change this particle separation here, it will affect this flip source here. So just we'll select this. And now if you want to increase the number of particles, we can select this flip object and here, let's say we'll put up to 0.03 or something. Now say it has been increased the number of particles and now we'll click on display. So nothing is happening because we need to add a gravity force. So just after this match, we need to take a gravity force. So just, and we need to connect here. And now we'll click on play and just we'll select this. And see now the particles are falling down and it is colliding with this torus here. And now if you zoom out, we have this box and now we need to decrease the size of this box. So we need to select this flip solver. And if you go to this volume motion and here we can decrease the box size and also we'll change the uh, positions of this box center. Uh, let's say we'll put up to like three or something. And now see it has been exactly fit onto this level here. And also like when we click on this play, and see now the particles are going out of this uh, geometry here. So we need to convert this box as a collision. So here, and also here we can change the color. So just we'll put up to like blue. And now in order to create this box like a collision, we need to go to this flip object. And here we need to enable this option called close boundaries. So that now the particles will collide to this box. And now see it is colliding to this box and also we'll change the positions of this torus. 
So now it is good. And now what the thing is, we need to add a viscosity so that it will look like a chocolate or honey kind of simulation. And now if you want to increase the viscosity, we need to select this flip object. And here you can see there is an option like physical. And if you come down, you can see there is an option like viscosity. So we can increase, let's say we'll put it to like thousand. And now we will see this. And still we are not seeing any effect. So we need to go to this flip solver and here in the volume motion here, there is an option like viscosity. Actually, we need to enable the viscosity here too. So just we need to enable this and now we will see this. So just I will click on play. And now here you can see the effect of this viscosity. So it's making a chocolate or honey kind of simulation here. So just we'll change the size of this beer. Uh, so just if you go back side, just like we'll decrease this. And just will change the position. And now we'll give the animation for this pair so that it will look like the chocolate is falling onto this donut. So like we'll create animation uh, for this pair. So just in order to do that, we need to take and transform node. So just we'll take and transform and we'll connect after this flip source. And I will enable this. And now we'll go to the initial frame and we'll turn on the animation for the X and Z axis. So we want to animate this pair along this X and Z axis. So just I will turn on the animation. So in order to turn on, we need to alt left click. So I created these two keyframes and now we will see this animation. So just we'll go inside and click on play. So see, now we got this beautiful simulation. And now we will add in some kind of noise so that it will look more natural. So in order to do that, we'll go back. So we need to take a point velocity node. Uh, so just we'll take a point velocity. And inside this initialization, we'll put it to value. So just we can change it to like minus two in the y-axis. And also we can add the noise. So we can add more scale. Uh, so just like four or something. And now we'll go inside, we'll check it. So just we'll go to the first frame and just now we'll click on play. And see here, we got this nice simulation. And also if you want to create more realistic simulation, we can increase the particle separation here. So it depends on your system performance. So in this way, we can create this simulation by using this viscosity. So in the next video, we will see how to convert this fluid into mesh. So that's it for this tutorial. See you in the next video.